Avery Dunn and Anthony Patterson are currently doing a capstone project uh, in the computer science program and <coughs> took this uh, graduate class as uh, an elective. And their project is uh, in the general terms of using smartphone information data to do parking spot management. So Avery focuses on uh, using <coughs> um, the built-in uh, sensor data from smartphones um, and basically track activities or use this data to track activities <coughs> such as um, walking, um, parking or non-parking. So the idea is to identify uh, parking events and um, identify when people are leaving the parking lot to make it uh, simple. So here's a picture of uh, a parking situation at the University of Maine. Uh, parking is typically very limited during the semester and so this is an approach to find out based on smartphone data when are people uh, leaving uh, parking lots and when potentially are people starting to look for parking spots again. <coughs> Currently the uh, application is programmed as an Android app but they also have an iPhone version and so there are several classes. One is a location manager class that uses a GPS data uh, every few seconds and then there's also sen sensor data management class that uses uh, the accelerometer information uh, on the smartphone. So these, stre these uh, sensor data inputs from a smartphone are used as sensor data streamed and um, analyzed uh, in real time to find out which events are taking place based on this one particular user. So here we see um, a demo of what is going on on the uh, smartphone. We see different attributes such as speed, uh, distance and the location and here is the important attribute of the user status and so we see here uh, to the left the status that the uh, program on the cell phone uh, detects in real time based on the uh, attributes of uh, location, distance and speed. So it's very uh, difficult to um, actually analyze these information and decide at which combinations the user is uh, standing or just making random movements or actually uh, driving, uh, which is the status that is of interest uh, because then this uh, person will leave uh, one of the parking lots. <coughs> so <coughs> what has to be done is to detect <coughs> the different um, events that are not of interest and be able to filter them out <coughs> with hopefully um, a reasonable accuracy. So Anthony takes uh, an al alternative approach uh, to the same problem. So also detecting um, parking behavior using smartphones. And so what we see here is uh, uh, what are these uh, transitions or events of interest uh, basically occupying, uh, going from driving to occupying a parking space to going to class or coming from class or university activities uh, to arrive at the parking space and then go into like a driving um, status. <coughs> so um, Anthony has run here some tests um, uh, to collect data um, and basically look at the profile of those individual sensor data uh, updates from the different sensors in the smartphone, plot them and then be able to identify those uh, transitions or identify the signal of the different sensors uh, and their um, signature as basically a pattern, a sensor data pattern. So what's of interest here is if we, when we look at the raw data uh, there are very many sensor data points uh, that are collected here and when they're plotted 
uh, they look like these point clouds and they basically have to be analyzed in real time um, to find out which events have actually uh, taken place here. So what we see here is a small demo uh, with two views. One is the view uh, on the smartphone. Uh, it detects the car starts to drive and it alerts this uh, status and then it detects that the car stopped driving which is uh, shown on the left side. We can also see here on the right side that there is a boundary around the parking area so when the location is detected to be within this boundary of the uh, area and it's a parking lot and then it can be derived that a parking event has taken place or a deparking event has taken place. But here uh, in this demo the user is only out it's outside of this parking area so it's classified as a driving event.